In the age of disposable razors, the butterfly safety razor still has an edge. This precision metal tool is good for a lifetime of clean shaves. A few twists of the handle and the butterfly mechanism opens to allow cleaning and replacement of the blade. With it, getting rid of stubble is very little trouble. Invented in the last century, the butterfly safety razor has done its part to prevent injuries. The blade can be replaced without actually touching the sharp edge. The butterfly doors also close around the blade for a safer shave. Also known as the twist to open razor, this grooming tool is anything but simple. It's comprised of about 20 parts. Production begins with solid zinc bars. They melt down the bars in a big cauldron. This machine then presses the melted zinc into a mold of three razor parts. The zinc instantly cools and solidifies into the shape of the parts. They're linked by more hardened zinc. A worker separates them, revealing a support structure for the blade, a framework for the butterfly flaps, and the outer casing for the blade support part. Breaking them free from one another leaves ragged edges. So a worker grinds them smooth. But there are still a few blemishes to rub off the surface. The parts toss about in a tumbler filled with abrasive synthetic pellets. After about half an hour, the surface irregularities are gone. Next, a computerized drill bores into the center of a spinning aluminum dowel as a second tool contours the outside. This transforms the dowel into nuts for adjusting the blade. They shape the aluminum handle the same way. Now they apply a more durable chrome finish. This process involves three electroplating baths. The first one gives the parts a copper coating. Then it's into the nickel bath. In this case, nickel is a go-between kind of finish. It will allow chrome to stick to the part. After a chemical treatment for a matte finish, they plunge the parts into the chrome bath. A quick rinse in water reveals the result. The parts now have a resilient matte chrome finish. Once all the parts have been fabricated, it's time to assemble the butterfly razor. A worker drives a threaded insert into the outer casing for the blade support. She installs a similar insert in the adjustment nut we saw being fabricated early on. These inserts enable her to screw the two parts together. She sets aside the nut and blade support assembly. She slides a spring onto the razor's center rod. This spring pushes up the rod to open the butterfly flaps. She dabs thread lock glue on the threaded section of the butterfly flap support part and then screws the part to the razor's center rod. Next, she installs the butterfly flaps on the support part. The various sub-assemblies now need to come together. She begins with the blade support structure and brass stem. She attaches a spring and slides the adjustment nut assembly onto the stem. She inserts a plastic washer into the assembly, allowing her to screw the handle onto the adjustment nut. She now pops the center rod with the butterfly doors into the assembled framework and adjusts the assembly. She threads a set screw onto the center rod and into the handle. The screw will prevent the user from turning the handle too far and compromising the butterfly mechanism. An end cap attached to the base holds the center rod in place. Finally, she tests the handle and screw rod mechanism that opens the butterfly flaps and confirms that they're fully functional. It's taken about 20 minutes to produce this butterfly safety razor. With regular cleaning between blade changes, it should last for many years. Good thing, because there will always be a growing need for this reusable shaving tool.